Hello everyone and welcome back to VMAL Channel 1. For our next matchup, we have got 42 0 going against Jinx this time, being a silver matchup. So, so a bit bit of a downgrade, I guess you could say, from the last one, but still could be a good one. And of course, as always, it is it's me only here on the cast speaking to you guys and Loki by my side. Well, kind of. And with our wonderful Wonder Team man on the cams running the show as usual. So Loki, how are you feeling about this next one? I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it may be lower level in ranking, but it could be just higher level in entertainment. The last one was a decimation in the second round by Intoxicated, but maybe we can get some sort of round three going here. And I don't know how close these teams, I mean, one team being 35th and the other being 36th, they seem like they're neck and neck at the moment. So let's see which team could pull away. But uh, I'm definitely interested to see what can happen. Not only are they right next to each other in the standings, both their records are completely the equal and exactly the same. Both teams are 11 to 11 right now. Uh, that's 11 wins, 11 losses for both teams. So this could be a quite an equal match, quite a fun match to watch. And I'm not, I'm not um, sort of what's the word like, not expecting too much. But at the same time, I hope for a good one because I've seen some good low level matches still be entertaining. We've seen some good ones uh, yesterday actually. So. Hoping for a good one today as well. Yeah, and uh, we got a redeemed hydrate from Cloudy Howdy. Wow, that is a difficult name. And yeah, cheers to you, Oli. Thank you very much, Cloudy. Indeed. With that being said, it will be 5 2 0 taking that initial headbutt picked up by Skag. Skag now going, trying to go to the backboard, maybe, but will just bounce off the shoulder. Now the slap coming through, but in the hands of. Sharon, Sharon now trying to get the bounce pass across to V Techno, but Ground Dog with nice inception will send that one all the way forward back into the orange side. Now just floating around in the orange side, it will be picked up again by Ground Dog. Ground Dog now just looking for his pass opportunities, just walking it forward. We'll send it back to Locus. Locus now down, trying to get it to Amory, but that'll just be a missed pass and now picked up by Skag one for the clear. Yeah, good clear from there. And now it's HMEU pushing it forward. Locus hot on his tail and an anchor shot. What a beautiful shot. Locus on his tail and he is not worried about that one. 17 MS, beautiful shot. A very nice shot indeed, just in that bottom pocket area as they will take the lead 42 nil by three points. So it's three nil. As that a pause does just come through, it looks like the player has dropped from one of the sides, so hopefully they can get that one in, but get that player back in quickly and continue. But, but that was a very nice shot to start off this game, and very nice shot for the side of 42 nil. Yeah, maybe some foreshadowing about how this team will, how this game will go. Sorry, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, that was such a beautiful shot to start it out, and whilst it may not be 42 nil yet, it is three points to nothing. And we'll see what they can do with their QB, if they can maybe bring something back here, get a good attack going, and maybe get the three-pointer. But getting a three-pointer at any start of the game is so devastating because you just immediately start out and getting a three-pointer in any situation is just difficult. And they're already set back in that way and getting two pointers, maybe they're gonna have to go for a one-point difference where getting two two-pointers, but we'll see what they can work out through this. I like how our cameraman just pointing that one out that 42-0 are quite unified in there, sort of, they kind of have a bit of a uniform as they all have the number 42 and some different colours on that scoreboard, so that's it's pretty cool. I don't, I don't see much teams doing sort of a uniform sort of style, but that's a pretty cool thing for a team to do. Whilst they are uniformed in numbers, they are not together at the moment and it looks like they've had a second drop and the other player going to talk to the other team, I believe. HME, you go and talk to them, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we've already had two drops, so not the best of starts, not the smoothest of starts, but smoothest of games. I mean, it's a beautiful start, but not, not very smooth, at least. Yeah, hopefully they can get both those players back in quickly because we want to get back into this game. I mean, we were only just about a minute in and a nice shot and then a pause immediately after just to talk. A bit of a cliffhanger, I guess. Keep us in suspense. As it looks like those players are co just coming back now. Looks like someone might be dropping from Jinx. Hopefully they're not, because I just want to get back with this game. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. And I don't want another drop, that's for certain. And K9 Maddie in the chat saying 1v5. I do not want to see a 1v5. That would be 
devastating to one team for certain. Maybe if they invited like a, a gravity player, then a 1v5 would be more interesting, but maybe not in this yeah. situation. But I mean, these like... teams are so equal that a 1v5 would definitely not be good. I mean, I don't know the teams very well. I've never really played with them. I have played with Ground Dog before in a few cups together, and that was definitely a pleasure. And just shout out to Ground Dog. But uh, yeah, I've never, I don't really know many of these players, and it's great to see new teams and just see what they can do. But by the looks of it, not very new. I mean, they've played, I believe, 22 games already, both teams, as you said, the same amount of games played and same stats 11 wins and 11 losses. I mean, you just love to see that, like, these teams both silver, both pretty much the same standing and both the same record. I mean, that just. That's just a good uh, a good sign, but that record won't be the same for much longer because one team is coming out with a win and one coming out with a loss. So as soon as we hopefully get that next player back in, which hopefully is soon, I'm not sure how much time they've got left on that timer, we'll get right back into this. Yeah, I do know that the timer is five minutes of a max, so will they start having to play with a 3v4? Because that will be devastating for any team. It is never good, but no, VTechno is back, and we will be probably starting here the 4v4 as the players stack back their tubes to ready up. And I hope that we can get playing again, and I hope we can see this QB and maybe get some points on the board for Jinx and see if they can equalize and make this a very interesting game to see. And yet we will get the unpause. So now, the, finally, the umpire's coming through. We will get right back into this first round. It is currently 3-0 to the side of 42-0. Jinx will be taking this Joust advantage. So now, rolling out, it looks like it will be fairly slow rollout, but Ground Dog will take that QB. We'll send it over to the tunnel. That'll just be a missed pass and going in the hands of HMEU. HM trying to make his way forward. We'll send it over to VTechno. VTechno now looking for his opportunity. He's taking it slowly. We'll try to send it up to HM and it will be connected bounce pass but Amri with a nice steal we'll get that off the hands and I'm trying to go for maybe a clear we'll just bounce in the hands of Locus though Locus now going for that clear but it is stopped by Sharon Sharon now sending that one across just will just be a missed pass but it will be recovered by HM HM just getting stunned out and ground dog picking that one up and going for the clear I mean hopefully they can get something set up now they're looking to be on the disc second actually V Techno now with it V Techno trying to give it over to HMEU and Linky just missing the pass but now Ground Dog with it. Ground Dog getting a clear high, but of course, Sheeran is back to recollect. Sheeran going for a long pass, just not connecting though. And it might be Locust recollecting first and will be slapping it away. It will be coming back to them. Maybe Skag can get a stun. Stag's, Skag has got a stun and trying to 1v3 here, it looks like. But no, he's got some support now from HMEU. He's taking his time, looking for his setup. And a pass to Skag maybe just a bit low. That would have been a beautiful play with a possible slam dunk. But VTechno now straight up to HMEU. HMEU just missing the shot because Amory Amy with a beautiful shot and a long clear. Now that disc in that orange bubble in that orange area looks like it will be VTechno getting there first. Not allowing to jinx to, to score. Now looking for that clear. We'll just be taking some bounces in the hands of Linky. Linky, we'll just get it stolen by Skag. Skag now going for the clear. Looks like we have had a player drop from the side of Jinx, as you can just see them just disconnected. But nonetheless, we will keep moving. That's now Amri taking that clear, trying to get it out, but HM picking that one up. We'll just get stunned out. But recovering it is Skag. Skag looking to make his way forward. Trying to go for the backboard shot, maybe, but Ground Dog looks like he's back in the game, so he is going to stop that one. Now trying to do some juke, and we'll go for the clear. And it will make it will not make its way out and we'll go back in the blue side in the hands of ground dog again ground dog looking for the clear for the second time and this time it will make its way all the way out yeah and now it seems like they're back at recollecting i think just 42 nil have better stacks but maybe not ground dog with a pass attempt and it's a bounce pass off bowtie coming straight back to him but sheeran is back in goal holding back getting ready for any attacking plays and ready to deny and it looks like amri just heading back to goal not able to re this but linky will recollect trying to go for a back pass maybe a bit missed and it will be skag recollecting skag's gonna go for an attacking opportunity but by amri amy what a brilliant save and sky hm this but he misses it and it will be amri getting the pass out to ground dog Ground Dog now with the disc. Looking for his options, but he just drops the disc. Ground Dog looking to recollect. 
Groundhog will recover that one for his team now. Teammates staring, maybe going in for a bit of a tickle sessions now. They do actually get stacked up and will send the clear. Sky go one. Trying to intercept that one, but it will be stopped. Linky. Now with the Sean goal, we'll take the long shot. It will just be a bit wide. Picked up Am by Amri. He will just get stunned out by Skag. Skag now looking for the clear. Will not make his way out. It will go in the hands of Ground. It will not go in the hands of Groundhog as the disc does some duking of its own and will get past Groundhog. And now trying to send it out is HM, but a nice stop from Locust. We'll pick on we'll be picking that one up, making his way forward into the bubble. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie. We'll go for the shot and we'll put it in for the two now. Three to two in favor of 42 nil. That previous uh, sequence there, just a little too much time on the disc Amory had there. And Skag with a beautiful comeback, managing to get back. But it, it looks like they're losing a player as well. I think 42 nil and missing a player and we will get another pause. Looks like that player is having some tech issues, but hopefully they can get them back in for the second time. Now the second pause in just one round. It's not be even been five minutes, but it looks like maybe they will continue with a 3v4. Because they do unpause. Maybe they they ran out, they used up their timeout minutes as now Sharon will take the QB. We'll send it over to HMEU. HM just not able to pick that one up. He will recover it though. Now trying to get past Groundhog, but Groundhog with a nice block, he will stop that attempt at Dukes and now he will try and maybe look for a clear maybe looking for a pass he will send it up to Locus. Locus now looking to make his way forward looking back at his teammates making sure that he has those back passes if needed and he will use it now Groundhog receiving that pass just taking his time trying to get around that defense of 42 nil trying to utilize that uh, one man advantage that they have as now missed pass coming through turned into a clear by 42 nil yeah, now it looks like it will be Locust recollecting the disc for his team. But a bad clear comes out and HMEU for the back. But it's just going to hit the wrong part and bounce straight back out. Groundhog trying to go for a clear, but I think Linky trying to grab there accidentally grabs the disc. And it will be Linky trying to recollect here. He does do so. And Linky taking his time. But Skag is surprising people today. Coming from behind in all weird places and getting the disc every time. But three players are stunned from 42-0's team. And Amri will have the time. But going for a slap. Trying to get the three points. Maybe missing it. But not a good clear. And grounds off. Will do a spin shot and plant that one. An unfortunate clear hitting the inside of Shield there. And coming straight back to goal. Will that be Jinx taking that lead by one point, four to three. Now it will be 42-0 taking that just advantage. Just about three and a half minutes remain on the clock as Sharon will take the QB. We'll send it over to HMEU. HM looking to make his way forward. Trying to do some juking as he is pressured by two players and he will eventually get stunned out. And as it is now picked up by Skag who does get stunned out as well. Ground dog picking that one up. We'll just lose it or maybe a back pass to Locus. Locus will send that one forward and it will go in the hands of Sharon. Sharon now sending that one forward again, but Amri with a nice stop. We'll send that one right back into the orange bubble. Yeah, and it looks like Linky's trying to recollect the disc here, but Groundhog will be the one maybe looking for it to add on to his pile of goals here. Trying to get some more. He's taking his time. He knows he has that one point advantage. And the fact that 42 nil are missing that player is putting them in a disadvantage, but HMEU does not feel in a disadvantage. What a beautiful save and a stop from him. And now with a clear from HMEU again. And they're looking to recollect it, but Locus will be there first, recollecting the disc and taking his time, ducking that player, but not quite HMEU on the ball. Does not care that it's a 3v4, and he'll drive that one into the goal for a 16 MS. HMEU with the save, the steal, and the goal. 42 nil. I now regain the lead 5 to 4. Just still a one point game, and those in the chat wondering why it's a 3v4. Their fourth player from 42 0 did drop. We're not sure why he dropped. Uh, we're not sure what's actually going on there, but he did drop nonetheless. As now will be Jinx taking the Jazz advantage, setting themselves up. A pass up to Linky. Linky now across to Locus. Locus taking his time, looking to make his way forward. We'll just send the back pass to Groundhog. Groundhog now going forward again. Looks like we have got that fourth player back in finally, so it will be back to a 4v4. Which is good for 42 nil as that bubble, that this does go in that, their side into that bubble picked up by Amri. But nice steal from HMEU, which will be turned into a clear. And I was just thinking I needed some water, but Schlart is there to help me. And I have a hydrate from Schlart. Thank you very much. And cheers to you again, Holly. We've had a lot of hydrates this evening. And let's add to the pile. Hopefully Having you won't need that. a pee. 
like yesterday after all these hydrates, but Vitek no not going in yeah. for a drive. We'll just ding off the rim. Linky picking that one up and he will go for the clear. We'll just bounce. Juking that player out and it will go through into the orange side. Ground dog now getting there first. We'll go for the shot. Just a little low, just dinging off the rim. That would have been a nice shot. And but now Linky picking that one up again, trying to go for the cross pass, but some good coverage from 42 0 We'll deny that attempt. But we'll be recovered by Locus. Locus getting pressured. We'll send that one up to Linky, who is stunned out as well. And it will be recovered by HMEU. HM now taking his time trying to get it past that defense. We'll just do some chuke and it will be successful. Now trying to run down the clock. They have one point. They have the one point advantage. Just approaching this final 30 seconds. They will go for a dribble. And it will just be missed as it takes that awkward bounce. But we'll be recovered by Sharon. Sharon now looking for the pass. We'll go across. Will be a miss. Now less than 30 seconds remain if, if Jinx can pull off a dribble or something or a clear and a stack, which is the same thing as a dribble, but nonetheless, I did say it. Uh, is in their side actually. Locus sneaking up on HM. He is able to get the stun and he will just go for the shot and he will put it in. Tinking it for the three and it will be Jinx with that last second goal for the three, taking the lead by two and it will be Jinx taking this third first round. Yeah, what an incredible round. I mean, we had some drops and that's when 42 nil lost their first lead. But uh, some brilliant plays from HMEU managed to bring that back. But Jinx were not vexed at all. And they slowly moved up. They got the disc in their side. And within the last 20 seconds, managed to get that last point from Locus. And what a brilliant play it was. And now taking a look at some of the stats, HMEU doing incredibly for 42 nil, scoring all five points. And Jinx with Locus with five points, rivaling HMEU. And Ground Dog with a two point difference, putting Jinx with a two point advantage. Yeah, it's a very nice comeback and a very intense one. I mean, this is what you love to see, those last second comebacks. That was a very nice three point on an open goal that 42 nil defense just not back in time and all they really had to do they didn't really have to push they didn't really have to aggress they just all they had to do was do some maybe passing and just keep possession for those last 30 seconds which can be can just is a very useful feature you don't always need to score even though it was one point like the last 30 seconds like for all you new players out there all you have to do is just pass it around a bit keep that possession and run down the clock and you'll just take the lead or the the win even if you are currently in the lead yeah, and definitely with that case, um, HMEU at the last few seconds gets the disc above goal and maybe trying to take his time and look for the players, but he didn't account for the fact that a player could be right behind him, and he was. Locus recollecting and immediately scoring. But having said that, it is now HMEU once again with the disc, but no, a steal from Locus once again, and a dinging shot that is so unlucky. Linky now with the disc pushing in, and Linky with the shot will be jinx taking the early lead two points on the board now 42 0 taking that jazz advantage dude looking very strong in this second round jinx with that early lead that early that initial head but even beating 42 0 at the jazz now we'll be sharing taking the qb we'll send it up to skag skag now sending it down to hm that will just be a missed pass but it will go down into hands of vtech now who is pressured they will just get it out of his hands, but that nice stack there from Jinx will be able to recover possession for their side. As he does just lose it, we'll swing it behind him. Locus able to recover that one though. We're looking to send it forward. Groundlock with a nice slap pass over to Amri now. Amri looking to make his way forward. We'll send the pass up to Groundlock. Maybe it was just a clear as it does sail past him and into the orange side. Yeah, now, and it seems like Skag's going to be wanting to recollect this, and he does, and he gets a little slap away. Linky now trying to follow it up and recollect the disc, but it will be Locus once again with the disc possession. A bit of a missed communication there, not ready for the pass, and slapping it out of their zone is an attempt from Skag, but Skag passes it to their hands, and Amri with a missed catch, and HMAU going to capitalize on that mistake, and HMAU looking for a clear opportunity, but a bit of a slow clear, maybe some lost tracking, and ground Dog is hot on the tail of the disc there. Ground Dog makes a clear into the mid zone and it's going up to Linky actually, not a clear. And HMEU with a steal, regaining disc possession, looking to equalize here maybe the points or maybe take some three point lead. HM now sending that pass up to VTechno. VTechno looking for his opportunities. We'll send it down to Sharon. Sharon making his way forward to the bubble. We'll send it up to HMEU on the roof. HM will go for a shot and he will put it in the goal. Now tying this game up. Two to two.
will give Jinx their first chance advantage of this second round as we do approach the seven minute mark. Yeah, and that was a brilliant play from HMEU. He flips just before he catches the disc, knowing that it will make sure he can juke out Ground Dog. And juke out Ground Dog, he does, and plants it in for the shot. What a beautiful play from HMEU. Now, Locus with the disc. Locus on station, taking his time, getting a stack. Ground Dog and Locus trying to get a stack and get a clear and boost, but into the hands of Sheeran, it goes straight to. And now over to the HMEU in the left tunnel. Maybe a cross pass going to come over here to VTechno, and a cross pass does come through, but a missed catch, maybe a bit low on the pass, but VTechno does not recollect, and it is going to be Linky with the disc. But a good stun from VTechno, and HMEU now with the disc. Once again, upside down, duking them out, and Skag also upside down, planting the shot in with a slam dunk 42 nil now regaining their lead by two it is currently 42 42 42 in favor of 42 nil they will be jinx taking that joust advantage looks like they will just have a bit of a slow rollout as they do hit the dog but ground dog is able to pick it up for the qb now looking to make his way forward slowly just trying to bring that defense in Ever so slowly, we'll send a pass up to Locus. Locus now down to Amri. Amri gain pressure. We'll send that pass back to Ground Dog. Ground Dog gain pressure as well. We will actually just get the stun off. Trying to send the pass across now, but it will just be a missed pass. We'll just be a bit too far, but that stack from Jinx able to get there first. Ground Dog with possession yet again. Looking for his opportunities. We'll send it forward up to Linky. Linky now making his way forward. We'll go for the shot, but a nice stop from Sharon. We'll deny that one. Only you, Ollie, could make a pun out of 42. That is impressive. But here, a shot coming out, but Ground Dog is ready to take that one. Ground Dog looking for a clear now. Goes to, not a clear, straight to Amri Amy. And maybe a pass attempt to Linky there, but a little bit low. And it will just go into the hands of Sheeran. Sheeran immediately pressured by that Jinx stack. And it looks like Amri will be coming to the disc now first. Amri attempting to make a pass, but just going a bit wide. Looks like it's being recollected by Ground Dog. Ground Dog now making a pass over to Amri at right cloud. Linky with a shot attempt here, and he takes it, and he hits it what a beautiful shot no time immediately pressured and the goalie is no problem to link because he placing it right past his hands now tying that game up or this game up four to four will be linky will be 42 now nil now taking that joust advantage sharon taking the qb as always we'll send it up to skag skag now we'll get it past that stack we'll send it forward to hm EU HM now looking to make his way forward. Watching out for that stack and that player behind him. We'll do some bit of duke and try to send the pass down to VTech now. VTech now not able to pick that one up. And it will be recovered by Locus, who will just take his time on the wall. Try to bring at least one of them players in from 42 0 We'll send a pass across up to Amri. Amri now looking for the clear. We will be in the hands of Ground Dog. Ground Dog game pressure will maybe go for the long shot, but it will be stopped by Sharon, who was actually in goal. And he will get that clear all the way back out into the blue side. And it looks like it's a stack race here. Ground Dog seems to be there first. Ground Dog now with the disc floating backwards makes a clear attempt. Not a fast clear, but it is decent. And it is actually recollected by Linky. Linky now going for the shot. Just going to hit the middle of shield there. Unlucky on the shot there. But it looks like Linky's going to chase the disc and try and recollect. Linky now just taking his time, looking for his options. Ground Dog now with the disc. Ground Dog trying to go for a shield stun and a brilliant juke. Maybe a pass but not collected. Never mind, Linky's going to re- Sheeran with the stun will deny any attacking or goal opportunity there. Now VTech now recovering that one for 42 nil. We'll send it up to HM. HM just getting pressured. Trying to do some juking, juking out three players, but Ground Dog will not be juking. He will recover that or will intercept even trying to send it forward, but VTech now stopping that one. Looking for a pass opportunity. We'll just decide to send it forward all the way back into that blue side. Now a race, it is a HMEU picking up first, looking to make his way forward, going for an anchor just a bit too off, just off the target. As now it is picked up by Linky, he will just lose it off the block, picked up by Ground Dog. Ground Dog will look for the clear and it will be just getting stuck in the mid, picked up again by Ground Dog, who will send it all the way forward, just a little high of goal that could have gone in. But now picked up again by Ground Dog, who has two players on him, Skag with the clear. Yeah, and now it's a stack race, but it seems like it will be HMEU recollecting the disc. And now he's got a two-on-one situation. Locus trying to get back in an open goal, but he dings it. That is so unfortunate. The player could have been there to recollect and go two-pointer, but unaware that it was going to ding. Maybe a boop shot attempt here, but just going to go a bit low, hitting Cloud. Now, it seems like Sheeran going for the long clear, but it's going to be recollected by that 
Jinx backstack. Jinx prepared with that. And now it seems like it's going to go back down to Sheeran. Sheeran now with the disc. Sheeran walking it up slowly, trying to take his time. And it's collected again once by that backstack. Amri now with the disc. A bit of exchanging hands from Amri and Locus. An attempt on to head save. What a beautiful save. And it looks like it. It looks like it's Amri with the disc. Amri with the disc now to going to Linky. Linky trying to take a shot attempt, but Sheeran will save it once again. Sheeran is a god in goal. He is prepared for anything and will not let this game change from 4-4. Now picked up again by Hey Cham, looking for that slap clear. We'll just be going in the hands of Linky again. Linky looking to make his way forward. His game pressured and just does get that pass off by that. But his teammate was not paying attention as he was getting pressured. HMEU now looking for the clear. We'll just get stuck in mid again and picked up by nobody as a, just maybe a miss read on the bounce there. Miss read on the bounce. But the slap clear does come through. Both players from Jinx missing that one on the stack actually. It will be recovered by Amri. Closely followed by HM but Ground Dog able to steal that one back for Jinx. And he will send it back all the way into the orange side. Into that orange bubble. That defense getting there first. HMEU picking it up. 4-4-2-0 first, closely followed by Linky, who is not able to get on his toes. And he will just try to send that one through, just a bounce, but it will go across into the other tunnel and we'll just stay in the mid. Amory now with the disc. Amory just getting stunned out by HMEU. V Techno with it. Another steal. And it looks like a scramble in the tunnel. Locus trying to get a slap out there. But Skag seems to be prepared for it. But no, Skag's going to get stunned out by Linky. V Techno, however, with the disc. Linky getting the stun and forcing that clear. And it seems like a missed clear. It will go to Amory. Amory taking her time, looking for a pass. But it will go backwards. Locus now with the disc. Locus trying to make a pass to Ground Dog. Ground Dog in a favorable position. Ground Dog will walk it up slowly and pass it over to the left. Pac-Man where Amri Amy is sitting at and Amri Army passing it back and forth and it goes to Linky and Linky with a shot straight into the goal and one thing I've noticed is I didn't know these teams before but Sheeran has definitely shown me that these teams are not no one and they can definitely do some incredible things I mean Sheeran with incredible saves and HMEU and Locus playing incredibly yeah, I mean pointing out Sheeran he has been doing Fantastically in goal, but also that, that, that nice quick passing play from Jinx towards the end there to eventually end them with a goal was very nice as well. And it just shows these new teams, they do have some potential. Maybe they won't shine super, super much in this season three, but maybe in season four, if they stay as a team and they get more practice, maybe they will shine a lot more in that next season. Or maybe even this season, we never know what will happen in BRML. Yeah, and it looks like this will be game to Jinx unless... It seems like 42 nil could pull off some miracle, but that will be game. In fact, that last shot dinging, but not enough time, sadly, for them, even if it was going. And that will be round two, Jinx and game. What a brilliant match. Two point difference in, I believe, both matches. And that was fantastic. Jinx just taking the win over 42 nil. With that being said, we will just move into our third and final match of tonight's casting session. So stay tuned as we do go into short intermission and we'll be right back.
blink your eyes and suddenly they're in your face with a stun and a steal. Yeah, not trying to recover on it. They do ultimately lit sending that one out. Sweet Tooth, the both of them getting down there. Sweet Tooth not far side lit looking to send that pass. But Aurora already in the bubble. Oh, are you kidding me? Thank you with the end steel sky diver's face. In his face completely screened out and somehow steel got the grab on that. Are you kidding me? Long shot here off the backboard. Acorn's gonna get a stop there. Now, trying to make his way, trying to juke his way as a kind of a kind of a, a tiger and mouse situation now. Like, oh, a cat and mouse situation now, I should say. And, uh, now the backboard shot. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Now it's cat and mouse and passing. In fact, this one's gonna be an excellent save coming through from Wolfo, but Bad Elmo taking it here. Another save from Neo, so brilliant defense, in fact, coming through from Neo. And now the stack's coming through on the other side. It's gonna be a shot, and Grimey's gonna take it, put that one straight in for the three, winning in the stack race there. Really precise passing. Now Nillywick just driving that.